Many of us who do ALS research feel the urgency to develop therapies, to develop markers that can help find the therapies to, to better understand ALS. And we recognize how slow the research process can seem to the patients that we see in clinic. All of us that do ALS research understand that urgency and feel that urgency and are pushing as fast as we can and as hard as we can to find something in the near future, we hope, that will be successful in slowing down ALS. In terms of the ice bucket challenge, I think many of us in the ALS community were thrilled to see that level of support from so many people. Overall, the funding that drives the research that, that we and many other labs do to push forward to try to find a cure for ALS. We received funding from the ALS Association to develop a PET ligand for a protein named TDP43. And PET ligand is not PET as in a dog or cat. PET stands for positron emission tomography. And it's a way to see a protein inside a living human. And this has been done successfully with a number of proteins and other neurodegenerative diseases. So there's a clear path for how to do this. If we were able to identify this protein in people and aggregates of the protein or clumps of the protein that come together that is one of the hallmarks of ALS, we may be able to diagnose ALS in a new way. One aspect of our work on biomarkers has been to try to understand as much as possible and as in deep detail as possible the motor neuron itself. The motor neuron is what connects from the spinal cord out to the muscle. The motor neuron is the cell that dies in ALS and causes weakness. What we are most excited about in terms of a biomarker for ALS is something that could read out early whether a drug was having an effect in the disease. The reason this would be so important is we would know early on whether a drug was having success in the space of several months by looking at a marker in the blood, for example. In order to find new therapy for ALS, the most important part of that is for people to sign up for the clinical trials. And so I'm uh, deeply appreciative of the participants in the clinical trials. I consider them brave volunteers, people who are willing to step in and volunteer their time and efforts to help the community understand whether a drug is going to be good for ALS or not. And without those brave volunteers, without the clinical trial participants, the research to find a new drug won't move forward. I'm hugely optimistic about the future of ALS therapies and finding something that's going to work.